everybody, today we're talking about the famous beech tree. If you're in North America, the beeches are one of the top 10 most famous trees and most important trees in the eastern deciduous forest. They're really easy to recognize. It's got this smooth bark and sometimes, unfortunately, if you're walking through the forest, you'll see people who have carved their names into the side of it. And beech leaves look like this. And if you're not used to looking at leaves, they look kind of like normal leaves. But what's really cool is that in the winter time, they hold on to those leaves. So you can walk through the forest and it will have these golden brown leaves and they rustle in the wind. Some of the beech trees in North America have started to have a disease. So I am in a forest right now that is being affected by beech leaf disease. And it's a little bit hard to see, but if you look up in the canopy, you will see this leaf has striated patterns. Some are dark green, some are light green. And that means that this tree is affected by beech leaf disease. For the longest time, researchers had no idea what was causing this disease. But what they realized is that if you take this leaf back to the lab and you put it in water, you, you like take little hole punches of the leaf, out come nematodes. Nematodes are like these little worms that can live underground, they're microscopic. In this case of the beaches, they feed on the growing buds. And then as those leaves develop, you can see what the nematodes did to that bud the winter before that. Is it gonna be a problem? Is it gonna kill all the trees? They seem to be affecting the juvenile trees. So we're in this big beech forest. Come over here, check this out. All behind me here, these are all little tiny beech trees that are trying to grow up to be big beech trees. This is a pretty good sized beech tree. It doesn't seem to be affected as much, but you can see that even this one, the leaves don't look great. This is not what a beech tree leaf is supposed to look like. Only time will tell. We know that this beech leaf disease started up in Ohio and it has been spreading across to the east and to the northeast. Will it continue to spread across the country? We don't exactly know. Scientists are on the case. I'm here with some of the experts trying to figure out what is happening to the nematodes, what can we do about it. You can help. If you know of a beech tree that is affected by beech leaf disease, then you can be part of the solution. Let people know in extension or at some of the links, which I'll leave down here in the description, that you saw a tree. Basically lets people know what is the leading edge of the spread of this disease. The second thing you can do is if you're in a forest where there's a whole bunch of trees affected by beech leaf disease, but then you find one that's doing pretty good, that could be the future of the beech tree. And they could take samples of that tree and maybe grow them in a nursery and spread new beech trees around that are resistant to this disease. So the point of me saying all this is that, well, one, beech trees are amazing. And you, by going into the forest and being observant, can actually do a lot to help beech trees. So I encourage you to do that. Thanks for watching. Maybe we'll see you in the woods one day.